We are the Entz family. Jonas, Jessica, Chris, Molly, and Anna. And uh, we did a trip in March to um, a town called Primo Tapia in, uh, in Mexico, south of Tijuana. So the organization we went with, what, uh, or we went to, uh, was a place called uh, Casa de Luz, translated House of Light, um, in Mexico. And the reason we chose that place is because we have a personal connection. Uh, the co-directors there are friends of ours from my university days. We had a real desire to serve as a family and wanted the kids to have an experience of another another culture and, and just have a perspective of how other people in the world live. And a bit of seeing God working in those places as well. Mm -hmm. Another thing that was very important to us is that the, um, the center is a ministry of the local church there. So it wasn't that somebody from another country came in and said, this is what we're going to do for you. Um, they asked that local church, what do you need? And the local church said, this is what we need. This is where we see a need in our community. This is where we could really use some help. In that case, it was uh, they provide uh, child care for uh, single parent families to help avoid basically economic orphans. And so the center provides um, day care. Um, that's sort of the, the main uh, bulk of it, but there's also food, there's uh, mentoring, really looking at ways they can break that cycle of poverty. So, and preaching Jesus the whole time throughout. So in the mornings, we'd usually <clears throat> begin with some work projects. Um, there's sort of a construction site, they're building a new building. And then in the afternoons, <clears throat> we would head over to the children's center and we play and hang out with the children. Um, sometimes we'd run, or a couple days, so we could run a VBS for them. And for the VBS, we also would do like the lesson and some games and normally crafts too. It was a lot of fun to do that, um, just working with other people through the work projects and then playing with the kids, of course, always a lot of fun. Uh, something I really got out of it was uh, serving as a team. Um, we were, our team consisted of a number of families. I was impacted most by just working alongside them and, and seeing God at work in the individuals and um, really, really enjoyed that. I learned that uh, hope really matters. Um, in, it, during the week, I got some opportunities to uh, spend time with some of the other single moms through women's ministry opportunities or English classes. And I asked them what, um, if, if you could choose, what, what would your life be like? And it was really encouraging to hear what was important to them and what they would change. Realizing how important it is for people to, to have hope, and that's one thing that this organization does, is as much as they are definitely providing for very material, real felt needs um, to survive, they are also saying, and here is Jesus for you all the time. And so I think I was just reminded about how much we just all really need Jesus all the time. And we saw a lot of um, uh, the impacts of that hope of Jesus yes. in, in changed lives. Mm -hmm. um, they, they talk about some of the single moms that come to this organization to start and they're just just down. And, and, um, and the way that um, after a number of months, uh, uh, some of them are just really transformed, um, mm -hmm. have hope in their lives and, and have met Jesus. Mm -hmm. I guess I just realized how much God is really a God for everyone. And obviously that's something we hear all the time, but it's, Really cool just to see how differently all these people are, how differently they live and work and worship, yet we're all worshiping the same God. One of the upsides for me about doing a trip like this, uh, or a missions trip, um, is that when you go, we're aware that we're only there for a very short amount of time, and so we're trying to do as much as we can in the time that we're there. And part of that isn't just the, the, the activity, the jobs that we're doing, but part of it is just being aware of where God's moving and where we can maybe be a part of that if needed. And why don't I live the rest of my life like that? Why don't I live with that same intensity? I mean, maybe you've got to take a break sometimes, but for the most part, why am I not living with a lot more intensity through the rest of my life? So that's something I have attempted to carry over with greater frequency in my own life. It's just, there's, there's great need here too. People need Jesus here as well. If people are thinking about doing a trip like that and looking into how to do it, something we had to recognize that we're giving up holiday time 
not to mention actual, obviously money to get where we are going. And uh, the kids had to sacrifice opportunities here that they wouldn't have had. So um, it's not like it's, it's really easy, um, but at the same time, it, it's also been very worth it because they also gained experiences and perspectives that they already shared about that they wouldn't have otherwise. So it, it's still a trade-off, but for us, it was worth it. If you're considering going on a mission trip, I'd say just do it because, yeah, you, you'll definitely get something out of it and it's worth more than what you'll, you may lose.